In another video, we found the cosine of 75 degrees by making use of the sum and difference identities. So from the sum and difference identities, we got that the exact value of this is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. I'd like to compare that to what we get by using a half angle identity. So first thing to note is 75 degrees is half of what other angle? If you were to multiply both sides by 2 and double the 75 degree angle, you would get 150 degrees. Now the formula that we have for the cosine of a half angle is the following. The cosine of alpha over 2, that would be our 75 degree angle, is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the cosine of the double the angle all over 2. So if I'm interested in finding the cosine of 75 degrees, that would be equal to the square root of 1 plus the cosine of double that angle all over 2. Now with that in mind, you'll notice that I didn't write the plus or minus anymore. This is because I know 75 degrees is a quadrant 1 angle, and in quadrant 1, the cosine will be positive. Now to simplify this further, this will be 1 plus. Cosine of 150 degrees comes from the unit circle. That'll be negative square root of 3 over 2. This is all still over 2. Yo dog, I heard you like fractions and radicals, so I put a radical inside of your fraction, inside of your fraction, inside of your radical. Boy, that just sounds like a good time, doesn't it? <clears throat> well, here's what I'm going to do in response. I want to at least clear out the fraction inside the fraction. So I'm going to multiply the big fraction by 2 over 2. Upon doing so, that will distribute through the numerator. We'll call that 2 minus the square root of 3 in the numerator. And in the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. The only further simplification that I want to do is in the denominator by taking the square root of 4. Now compare this answer, the square root of 2 minus root 3 all over 2, with the answer that we got the other method. These two numbers look basically nothing alike. So that's kind of disturbing to me. But what the heck, let's go for it anyway. Let's take the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 and put that whole thing over 2. Okay, and then let's try plugging this into the calculator. So a big set of parentheses for the whole numerator. All over 4. What do you know? They happen to be the same number. And in both cases, that is equal to the cosine of 75 degrees. So if you and a friend are both trying to find the cosine of 75 degrees, one of you tries a sum and difference identity and one of you tries a half angle identity, it doesn't mean that either one of you is wrong. It just means that you took on a different approach. That's all.